Howdy y'all, Joe Hills here, recording as I always do in Nashville, Tennessee, and today we are gonna jump right into Red Sky Bay. Oh, maybe not. Ooh, barely. Well, we almost didn't make it. The difference between almost not making it and making it, though, sometimes has to do with looking before you leap. But anyway, we're not here to look at things. We are here to talk about Minecon Earth, which I hear will occur on one of the most populous planets in the solar system. Some people say, Joe, why couldn't they add it closer to where I live? You know, out here in the uh, inky blackness of space. As the Voyager probe, it really feels limited to me that they're going to have Minecon on Earth this year. And to you, I say, incredibly slowly, due to your lower than one bit rate, Voyager, you are a good space probe, but this is not about space probes so leave it to us the gamers so anyway here i am a gamer not a space probe expert so apologies if voyager ones or voyager twos i never actually specified so apologies if one of those things actually has a better bit rate than one baud not going to check my work on that anyway what we're going to talk about today is Moncon earth which was just announced hours ago by Vubui at the uh, Minecraft division of Microsoft. And the idea is that instead of doing Minecon in a city this year, they're going to do it as a live stream to different cities around the planet. So, like, in 2012, uh, I went to Minecon Las Vegas, and I got to meet a ton of people in person, and it really was a wonderful opportunity. I got to see Notch in person. I got to... Like, who, who, like, his security people were, like, constantly shepherding him. And he was just like, oh, but I want to go over there. It's like if he was the sheepdog, and he's like, no, 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 I want to go interact with all the cool people. And and then there was, like, somebody who's, like, a sheepdog herder who was just like, no, sheepdog. You have to go to here now. But anyway, so, you know, I got to see Notch at Minecon. I got to meet CoStar and Good and B-double-O, that's actually where I met them for the first time. And uh, it's funny, because I later found out that Good kept thinking that I was inviting myself to hang out with him. I didn't actually really know who he was. Some other guy in their group kept inviting me to go hang out with them. And uh, at one point, uh, I, I had no idea about this for years. I thought, uh, like, so Good and B-double-O and some people were going to go to dinner. And I, they were going to go to this really expensive buffet. And I was just like, oh, no, have fun, guys. You know. Um, so as I'm leaving, one of the other guys pulls me aside. And he's like, hey, I know you don't, you, you know, you're pretty young. You don't have a lot of money. I'll, I'll cover your dinner. Just come with us. Come hang out. And I'm like, oh, dude, that's so generous of. But later I found out Goo was like, who is this guy? Joe Hills thinks he can just show up at my dinner uninvited. It's like, whoops. Anyway, so you can go to Minecon and accidentally anger Goo. Or you could in 2012, you know. I went to Anaheim Minecon last year, and I got to meet so many awesome Hermitcraft guys for the first time. Tango and Impulse, actually two different people. I got to meet Iskel. I got to meet Python, who, you know, we are uh, some of the co-champions of the first round of Hermit Quest. Can't tell you who won the second round of Hermit Quest yet, because it's still embargoed, like so many crates. But, you know, wait. If I'm only here to get bones out of this machine, shouldn't I just be able to run around the back and oh yeah i'm not really good at thinking this through i'm not actually collecting any loot it's just all going into here or not where is the loot going are there no bones that come out of this machine very few so somebody's actually already been through here to get all the bones so we actually do need this machine turned on let's go back to doing that but where was i yeah so you can go to minecon and have experiences that you would never have but you know what? I've also been lucky to go to a lot of really cool local Minecraft events. Graphoniac used to organize a lot of those here in Nashville. Now she's working for Mixer up in Seattle, another Microsoft company. Um, you know, they don't like to be referred to as a Twitch rival. They prefer the term MSNBC alternative. But anyway, so Graphoniac is up there working for Mixer now. But when she was in Nashville, we had a ton of great events in town here that were just like 16 to 20 people who would show up like with their kids and hang out, talk to me, talk to Graf, talk to everybody. You know, just a small community meetup. And those were cool because a lot of times the same people would come every month. Whereas, like, with Minecon, 
the people I saw in Anaheim and the people I saw in Vegas might not be the same because of geography, for example, or the cost of flying to Anaheim. But, uh, anyway, the, um, the point I had there was there's a lot of good things to be said about having local meetups for Minecraft. And a lot of the people who have more than one kid are going to have a huge expense flying to other um, events. Like, if you wanted to go to Anaheim with your three kids and your spouse, that's five airline tickets. But if you wanted to go downtown, that's getting in the same car. So, even if some people are looking at okay, I live outside of a city, and I'm going to have to drive to a city for a Minecon Earth event. I think it's going to be worthwhile to do. And it looks like Microsoft has done house party stuff in the past for, like, Windows 10 launching. I'm hoping they have stuff like house party things. I haven't seen details on this yet, so this is not confirmed or anything. But if they add some house party type stuff, so you said, hey, there are 15 kids in my son's class that love Minecraft or whatever. Why don't we get together at, uh... I don't know, community center and do the house party thing. Because that 15 is probably too big for most people's houses. I don't know, though. People with more than one kid tend to have bigger houses than people with no kids. So maybe you could fit 15. We couldn't fit 15 people in my place. But I also only have one kid, and my wife's a grad student, so no money for big houses. Um, but yeah. So let's go back and talk a little bit about kind of that balance. So... There's going to be people doing larger community events for in, like, major cities that are basically conventions, it looks like. There's going to be people doing house parties, and there's probably going to be people doing stuff in between at, like, local parks or coffee shops or places that you could rent a pavilion and get a screen set up. But myself, what am I going to be doing on November 18th in the year of our Lord 2017? Am I going to be organizing the Nashville event if I was... I would be so happy to do it. Like, I would try to get a rental on the Bell Court today, and if not the Bell Court, one of the theaters at Vanderbilt University or Belmont University, because there's so many good theaters that you can rent in town for an event like this. But I cannot do this. Do you know why? It's because, guys, I'm going to be in Philadelphia that weekend. So, you know, maybe I'll get lucky and get to run into some of the folks I've met over the years from Philadelphia. Like, uh, at, uh... I was actually... At the Minecon 2012 with Andy Buchanan, though I didn't meet her there. Oh, I, th I thought I had met her, but it was actually somebody else. Um, so that was funny to find out later. But so whoever really looked like Andy Buchanan at Minecon 2012, it was nice meeting you. Uh, whoops. But I ended up meeting her at uh, another event down in Connecticut and hanging out with her in Philly for a little while, a little bit later. And... Anyway, so there's there's at least one person I know who lives in Philadelphia whose family loves Minecon and Minecraft. And I don't know what they're going to do, because I haven't had a chance to talk to anybody yet. This convention was just announced. But I'm going to be in Philly for PAX Unplugged, the Penny Arcade tabletop gaming convention, which probably would have a Minecon thing on site if it weren't for the fact that it's not a video game convention. It's explicitly a tabletop convention. They went out of their way to separate those out. So, I'm not sure what's going to be going on in Philly, but I might have to leave the PAX area to go to it. I'm really hoping it's not up against the Acquisitions Incorporated game, because that would be particularly brutal. So, anyway, not that Ryan Hartman watches this, but, you know, please talk to your fellow Seattleians, Seatlanteans, um, at Microsoft, and, I don't know, Try not to accidentally schedule the Ack Inc. game against Minecon's broadcast. Which, I gotta say, I'm kind of disappointed. Minecraft people could have scheduled this any day. And instead, and they chose the weekend of a PAX, which is kind of disrespectful. I mean, I know it's only the first PAX Unplugged, and it's not a video game event, but I'm kind of disappointed that I'm not going to get to do both separately. But I am excited that I'll get to be in Philly and meet a bunch of cool people who are excited about Minecraft there, hopefully. So, anyway, this is going to be fun. Let's grab what we need to out of here. Okay, I think we have everything we need to actually go finish working on our walls for the time being. It's always something. But yeah, let's see. So, packs Unplugged. 
let's not fall down there into the lava, and instead fall here toward success, or at least our base. But anyway, I figure if we can get some folks together in Philly for an event, that'll be great. I have no idea who the local, like, Minecraft community organizers are in Philly, like, who really gets into the Minecraft scene there, so... Gotta have to reach out about that, cause whatever's going on, I wanna I wanna see it. I wanna be a piece of it. But um and if I absolutely have to miss Acquisitions Incorporated, I I don't want to, but I am going to pack south in January, so I don't know. It's it's a hard it's a hard call to make, man. It's a difficult, difficult call. So hopefully that all aligns nicely. Anyway, where was I? I was going to go build a big wall here. So, let's see. People were saying, too, um, let's talk a little bit about some of the uh, criticisms I've seen. Now, some people are saying, well, this won't be the same as Minecon, because for a bunch of us Minecraft creators, that is the one convention that we all go to, that we all get to see each other at. And that is really a good thing for us as professionals or paraprofessional entertainers, but it is not necessarily optimized for fan value. Like, it's cool that the, you know, 20 or 30,000 people who were able to get tickets got to see this many of us, but realistically, so many people want to go but can't get tickets. And so this kind of sidesteps that rather cleanly. Um... But I just think there's a lot of reasons for creators to be disappointed that we are not going to get to see as many people as we would like to. Because, you know, if Python goes to the London event and I'm at the Philly event, you know, well, we both would have been at Minecon unless they scheduled it the same week as PAX, which, once again, come on, guys, you got you knew it was going to happen. They announced PAX Unplugged, PAX Unplugged last year at PAX South. Ten months ago. No. That can't be right. Eight months ago? And seven months ago? It was a while. It was enough, is my point. Like, we don't need, um... We, we, we just don't need people um, scheduling conventions against each other like that. That's, that's not great. So, that part, I, I do have some criticism of. But in terms of, like, not getting to see each other, we just need to make it a priority to try to attend the same events, you know? And that's hard to justify from an economic standpoint for many of us, especially those of us who don't do this full-time, like myself. I have to be really considerate of my needs at my day... my boss's needs at my day job. I can't just run off to every convention I want to. So, you know, like last weekend, Wells went to Mind Fair. And I didn't go. I couldn't take the time off because I've got time off coming up for the Eclipse and some other stuff. And so it just wasn't going to be feasible for me to do that. But, um, you know, we'll find other times to hang out. And so, yeah, just kind of finding other events that are at the right scale for us to get together. Like, especially for the people who have to cross the Atlantic. You know, it's not trivial for Python to just say, hey, Joe, let's hang out in Nashville one weekend. It's more like, you know, hey, I want to go to this huge event where I will know I'll get to see hundreds of fans. So, I don't know. Yeah. And there are some hermits who don't really like the entire convention scene. You know, some people are definitely more private, let's say. Um, some of you guys might have heard of Asuma Void, who plays on our server. He, for example, does not really enjoy public appearances. And that's fine for him. I'm happy for him that he, you know, actually... Actually, I think Asuma leaves the house and does goes on more adventures than any of us, partially because of his anonymity. Like, sometimes he'll just mention something offhand, and I'll be like, wait, you were there when that happened? And he's like, oh, yeah, yeah I just thought I'd go. And I'm like, mm, how do you just go to these things? But I... Well, and they're always cool things in Europe, which admittedly I can't go to anyway. But I don't want to say too much about Asuma, because this is not about Asuma. This is about all of us. We all want to do cool stuff and get together sometimes, but the more kind of centralized an event, the easier it is to justify all of us going to it, 
but the harder it is for individual families to attend and get to see all of us. So that trade-off is something that it looks like, dang it, they're trying to head off here, but this doesn't mean we need to give up on the idea of all seeing each other. You know, we just need to make a, a priority of that ourselves rather than letting Microsoft do it for us, you know? Like, if you said, I'm going to let Microsoft do all my spelling for me, you would probably end up with a lot of homonyms that are misplaced, and that's just not really appropriate. Oh, no, actually, more likely homophones. Yeah, far more likely. It's like, who's that? Ring, 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 homophone. Anyway, so that's what I read anyway. No, okay, not a good joke. So, here we go. We're just getting all of these blocks in place. But yeah, I think that this is a good direction for Microsoft to take in the short term. But in the long term, they need to get better at... They need to start teaming up with other groups to run bigger events. Like, they need to, you know, they basically could do... In the same way that Penny Arcade does five Paxes, or Paxin, I'm not sure you... Pluralizing it with an N might have been in vogue for a while. But anyway, so Penny Arcade can afford to do five Paxes. And yes, that keeps one full-time employee very busy, as well as the rest of his staff, to manage and juggle all these. But we love you, Ryan Hartman. Anyway, um, it is a lot of effort to run these sorts of events. And you got to decide, like, hey... Did Microsoft buy the game Minecraft, or did they buy a debt to the community? You know, because if there's a certain expectation of what the Minecraft community does in terms of meetups and events, it's like, if you're going to be in charge of Minecraft, you have to, you bought that debt. You bought owing us something whether you admit it or not, whether that debt is good, because debts go unpaid all the time. And I'm not saying I feel personally owed this, but I'm saying that I understand why some people might be mad at Microsoft over this, because they feel like, hey, you knew what you were getting into, and now you're trying to be lazy about it. Like, this is a company that runs an event every year, and, you know, Mancon sometimes has some disorganization around it. It's a little rough at the edges compared to some events because it's not as it's not organized in the same way by people whose only job it is to organize events. But it's part of what makes our community special. And so there's uh, kind of two competing things here. One, they want to share that thing that makes the community special with more people. Which, as I said, that's laudable. I like it. But they also need to avoid losing sight of what made Minecon special for the community. And find the things about that that this new event doesn't capture. And capture that in other ways, you know? So, I don't know. It, it's not a... Like I said, this is not me ranting that they screwed everything up forever. It's me saying there's more to be done. This is this is a good idea, but it's a good idea that should complement continuance of existing good ideas. This should not replace Minecon in the long term. This should be a if this is a I'm fine with this being a stopgap. If they said this year Minecon just wasn't going to work for whatever schedule and reason. We just couldn't get it all together in time as one central location. There was a problem with the venue and the contracts or something. Okay, that happens. So if they said, hey, next year... So we're announcing Minecon Earth this year and Minecon Nashville next year. And that'll be a real Minecon and you guys can come to it. But we're going to, you know, give you guys time to save up for it and everything. Because Nashville, expensive city. Just kidding. But um, it seems like they need to do this as a multi-event thing. 
we can have a Minecon stream day, and we can have a Minecon, and they don't have to be the simultaneous thing. Um, but like literally, um, Minecon for me was a life changing event. Like that was how I got my YouTube partnership back before they gave them out like candy, which apparently anyone can run ads on YouTube now. I had to apply and then go to Las Vegas and then meet with somebody and then reapply. And I probably would have gotten it anyway eventually, but that definitely gave me a leg up on deciding whether or not I should be spending money on um, equipment or making decisions. I don't know. But it's just, uh, there's a lot of pieces of this, a lot of sides of this. I understand why some people are disappointed. I understand why other people are excited. I want everyone to be excited. And I believe that that's possible here. But we're all going to have to do a little bit of work. If we want to see our friends, we're going to have to go out of our way to plan to travel to see our friends. Once again, can't let Microsoft do everything for you. If we want to have local events, we have to step up in our communities and plan local events too. You know, and Microsoft needs to step up and help us do that. Like if they are going to use this as an excuse to pilot and better stuff for local communities to run events, that's great. That is so good for everybody in the long run. I got no problems with that. But we have to look at this as an opportunity to do work that will be good for many people. And we have to be enthusiastic about putting in that effort. Because that's how communities get built. Not from the top down, but everybody pitching in. And some of the people who've pitched in a lot over the years are going to feel kind of left out of this. But you know what? That's Everybody needs to grow. It's an opportunity for each of us to grow. I would be so disappointed if they announced Minecon for this day and it wasn't in Philadelphia and it wasn't a streamed event because now I can still go to PAX Unplugged, which there's no way I'm getting out of that. Be for one thing, because I don't want to get out of that. My wife and I have been excited about this trip for so long. We don't really get to travel without our daughter very often. Um, we don't get to travel together very often. Like Usually I have a work thing or she has a work thing, and then the other one stays home with our daughter. It's very glamorous being a young professional with a child, let me tell you. Um, so this seems... So anyway, yeah, I would have been disappointed if they had announced, hey, it's Minecon Seattle, and it's the same weekend as PAX Unplugged, because I'd love to go to Seattle for Minecon, but I can't. So in some ways, this worked out better for me personally, but the idea that there will never be a Minecon again, that's, that's a little upset. Uh, somebody's got to get that figured out. And I'm sure there are some very smart people working on this. I'm sure there are people that they listen to that are already telling them some of this stuff. There's no reason for me to bother anybody. But it's just such a great opportunity that will be lost if they stop doing either of these things. If They should totally do the community events, and they should totally do the big Minecon, and I'm super excited to see what they announce in the future. But that's just what I've been thinking about in terms of what they have uh, reported today. Man, I'm so close to getting this wall done. It's so nice, like, just being able to zone out and just get stuff done. Because these walls, like, while I'm really excited about how they look, the actual effort, I, I really underestimated how long it would take to do these. And that's making me dubious about following through on the blockus style walls. But I don't know. We'll have to figure that out. So we're just going to go ahead and... Because, like, I I love the idea of doing the blockus style walls, but these dripping walls look so cool. It almost seems like a shame to cover them. And so maybe I'll find other places to incorporate that sort of thing. But I've got the, I even bought a blockus set so that I could make these wall coverings more realistic. I don't know. It's probably not worth it. Oh, I just realized that blockus has the word block in it, like Minecraft. Because Minecraft has blocks. Okay, where was I? Probably about to enter down and make more of this. 
Time skip. Wow, this is already looking better. So we're just going to go ahead up here and ender pearl our... Well, apparently you can't ender pearl while rowing. It's like, row, row, row your boat while you hurl an orb. Teleport, 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 teleport. Hope you do a great job. That's actually not a song. Or is it? What makes something a song? <laughs> this is That's a subject for another episode. But seriously, if you know what, what a song is, please let me know. So, where was I? Oh yeah, place in powders until I avoid fall damage. Excellent. So I figure I'll finish out the wall that I'm working on this episode and probably wrap it up because I'm so excited about PAX uh, Unplugged. I'm so excited about Minecon Earth. And I'm super excited to combine the two. So I'm hoping that I can tell you who else will be at PAX Unplugged who likes Minecon Earth soon. I've been talking to a lot of people trying to get them out there. I know at least one of the people on my Patreon server is going to be joining me, so we're going to hang out. Possibly more, but maybe some Minecrafters too, if we can, you know, get something together. Because Philly's a beautiful city, and November's not too cold yet. They got great architecture, they got cheesesteaks, and, uh, you know what? They'll probably have something for Minecon Earth. So, from Red Sky Bay, until next time, y'all, this is Joe Hills from Nashville, Tennessee. Keep adventuring.